the attempt to erode the will of the people by, by dictating to the MKP which of its preferred candidates are to be designated to the JC is constitutionally repulsive. More importantly, the rules of the National Assembly do not prescribe the minimum requirement for the delegation or appointment of members to any of its forums, such as the JSE. The MKP has done huge justice to the House to bring into the lawmaking house a Cambridge graduate, PhD graduate with law, a, Cam a Cambridge, a Cambridge graduate, PhD graduate from Cambridge with law degree to come into the house and assist the house to make the laws of this country. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Madam Member, EFF, four minutes. No, thank you very much, uh, Speaker of the National Assembly. We, as the Economic Freedom Fighters, fully support the appointment of Dr. Mandlakai John Chope as a representative of South Africa's seventh parliament in the Judicial Services Commission. As a matter of principle is that anyone who is eligible to become a member of parliament as per section 47 of the constitution can be delegated to whatever responsibility that all members of parliament are eligible for. And that is the principle that we had sustained. There are so many less than capable members of the Democratic Alliance, some of which are serving in the executive now, who do not have any form of qualification or direction. We have not, we have not yet exposed their incapacity because they are eligible to be appointed even as executives. Some, some of them are even deputized by people who are more qualified than them. It's just a group of white illiterates, semi-illiterates that are presiding over government because a certain section of society has given you that responsibility. We respect that. So let's respect the fact that a certain number of people in South Africa have voted for Mkondo as a party and have designated Dr. Chope to come, become a member of parliament. So let's respect that. It's a matter of protocol which we have always protected in the Chief Whips Forum that whoever is designated by a political party must be respected. So we wish you well, Dr. Chope, in the Judicial Services Commission. Thank you very much. He lost the status as a judge of the High Court of South Africa as a consequence of a finding of gross misconduct by the Judicial Services Commission. The decision to be taken today is furthermore not merely a political decision, but the exercise of a public power aimed at contributing to the establishment of the very same Judicial Services Commission. In the circumstances, it's a legal requirement of the National Assembly to act in a reasonable and rational manner. We are strongly of the view that it is neither reasonable nor rational to elect Dr. Schlope as a representative of the National Assembly on the Judicial Services Commission. The second reason why Parliament should not elect Dr. Schlope is to be found on the grounds I've just mentioned, if you listened, Honourable Member. The second reason Order. why Parliament should not elect Dr. Schlope Order. is to be found in the constitutional obligation which we as members of the National Assembly enjoy to assist and protect the judiciary in order to ensure its independence, its impartiality, its dignity and its effectiveness. Madam Speaker, even if the majority today holds the view that any person who is fit and proper to be a member of parliament is fit and proper to be a member of the JSC, it must follow that a large number of applicants to be interviewed by the Judicial Services Commission going forward will object and apply for the recusal of Dr. Schlope. On the basis, the finding of gross misconduct renders him unfit to serve on a body that is determined to fitness, that is to determine the fitness and the property or the propriety of others. Madam Speaker, this poses the risk of paralyzing the JSC and tying it up in endless review processes. 
If we are to assist and support the judiciary, Madam Speaker, we must today refrain from exposing the Judicial Services Commission to this risk. The DA cannot vote to put Dr. John Schlope on the JSC. Thank you. Thank you. The IFP. Order, honourable members. The IFP. Honourable, honourable Speaker, the Judicial Services Commission plays a key role in the appointment of judges as per the constitutional mandate. It is incumbent upon the members of Parliament appointed to the JSC to always be guided by the principle of fairness, integrity and, above all, a commitment to the rule of law. Elected members of Parliament chosen to represent us on this prestigious body bear a profound responsibility. They are not merely representatives of their respective parties, but are ambassadors of this parliament, and by extension, the people of South Africa. Their actions, decisions, and demeanor within the Judicial Service Commission must transcend individual or party political ambitions. They must embody the collective will and aspirations of our diverse society. This emphasis on the rule of law as their guiding principle is not just a matter of ethical importance, but of national significance. The integrity of our judiciary, its independence, and its ability to function without fear, favor, or prejudice is contingent upon our appointees holding these values as the core of their service. May this House reaffirm its pledge to uphold the sanctity of our judiciary by ensuring our representatives on the Judicial Service Commission act not as members of their political parties, but as guardians of our constitution and as stewards of justice and the rule of South Africans. I thank you. Thank you, Honorable Member. The Patriotic Alliance. Sorry. Speaker, it is true that the Constitution does not dictate and prescribe who a party may appoint to the JSC. But it is also true that we should be rational. It is also true that what the Honorable Shivambu said and what the other, the Honorable Member from the MKP said, that they did bring us a highly qualified person in the form of Dr. Klope. But what they do not mention is that Dr. Klope is also the first judge to have been removed from office. And that cannot be ignored. That cannot be ignored. And then we should be rational. Then we should protect the integrity of the judicial then we should protect the integrity of the judicial system. Then we should protect the separation of powers. And we should be rational with the conflict of apparent interest that there will be in the appointment of Dr. Klope in that position. We cannot support that. And there is a void in the Constitution with regards to this. And this should be addressed. A member cannot be impeached by this House and then be fit and proper to serve in this House. I thank you. Thank you, Speaker. Good morning to honourable members. We as Action SA believe that the parliamentary representation that serves on the JSC should, though we are all nominated by our respected parties, represent the people of South Africa who have spoken loud and clear in these elections. This means that we should ensure that the very best legal minds are considered on their respective merits to be appointed to the judiciary. This obviously also requires that such candidates are suitably qualified and that they are beyond reproach in order to fulfill this very important responsibility. So this House should call on Parliament to consider the importance of this committee and its work and do the right thing by electing candidates that are fit for purpose. So we move. Thank you, Speaker.
As far as the ACDP is concerned, the prospect of a nominee who was removed from judicial office for gross misconduct, sitting on the very body that made that finding, is in our view plainly wrong. Those serving on the JSC to appoint in discipline judges must themselves be above reproach to ensure the legitimacy of the judiciary, not only in our eyes, but in the eyes of the public, given, as the Honourable Member from the MK himself said, that judges are not elected in South Africa. And the ACDP cannot in good conscience support today's nominations, as those nominated will represent us and be our voice in the JSC. Clearly, however, and I say this with the greatest respect to the Honourable John uh, Schlope, that the legal lacuna that exists needs to be addressed either by a constitutional or other legislative amendment to address this legal issue, this legal lacuna, which in our view, it is ethically obvious. It is Ethics 101. I thank you. Uh, Madam Speaker and Honourable Members, uh, Judge Schlop, Ukona a dissertation paper by Balil at a tongue a legitimate expectation. And the surgeons were to many courts. Uko a legitimate expectation. Yabando above what the lay but yak. Ndoba Ubanga bound and ego same twenty up. Magas come the zong a privileges. Sale house. And goes. To be able to establish whether the rules are sufficient enough that should a member be impeached from a particular portfolio committee that same member can then proceed to go serve in the same portfolio committee in that sense and therefore uh, respectfully in terms of serving in the judicial services commission i respect that honorable sir so therefore i hold the view that as build one south africa we stood up and we said we want a particular level of leadership and we need to be able to endorse Therefore, it would not for us, given the fact that the rules allow still for Judge Flope to be elected, that should just be automatic. Or to automatic. <laughs> Therefore, we cannot support the decision. Thank you very much. What we are calling for is the ATM is that the National Assembly today must follow that principle, follow the Constitution, follow also the rules of Parliament. We can't allow, Speaker, a case whereby a party will want to bring subjective opinions on the appointment of Dr. Klope. Because if we're to follow subjective appointments, there are parties here in Parliament who voted against the abolishment of Parliament, uh, of apartheid. Those parties are here in Parliament enjoying the fruits of democracy. So, as the ATM, we fully support this nomination. Thank you. Honorable Speaker, Honorable Speaker, the streets have spoken. They want the Honorable Sheikh Slopi to serve on that commission. The people shall govern. This is a people's parliament. Al Jamaa supports the nomination. And if any judge wants to be a judge, and ask the Honorable uh, Shopi to be recused himself. That person don't deserve to be on the uh, to be on the bench. Thank you very much. Order. Uh, Africa. Uh, as UAT, we believe that Judge Shopi is a representative of our people, and with such suitable qualification, is the best suited for JC role. Just stop it, says Tembele Gwenaba.